Hi guys, and welcome back to another All Heart video. Today, I wanted to show you a few activities that you can use in order to introduce some early geography lessons to both toddlers and a little bit older children. I would say these activities are perfect for children ages two and a half to about six years old. We do have a lot of activities to go through today. So with that, let's go ahead and get started on today's video. So you're gonna need a few things for this first activity. You're going to need your mat if you have one. If you don't, it's no big deal. Um, you can choose to do this activity inside or sometimes it's even more fun to do this initial activity outside because they are out in nature. So the first thing I'm gonna do is roll out my mat. And then I'm gonna place this initial tray right in front. So I'm going to be using this globe in order to talk to my children about the different things that make up our planet. But if you happen to have the one that is the, like the sandpaper one, that one is also really, really nice for this activity because uh, all of the land parts are the rougher texture, that sandpaper texture. So your children are actually able to feel what the land feels like, which is a lot gritty and rough. And then they're able to feel the smoother texture of the water. So if you happen to have that one, definitely bring that out for this activity. If you don't, just like I didn't for this activity, I decided to go with this one, or you can use any globe that you have. It's just a kind of nice for them to be able to see that representation this way. So if you do happen to have a globe, definitely bring it out for this activity. It'll be uh, a lot more fun and a really good visual aid for them. This is our planet and our planet is called Earth. Mm -hmm. And our planet is made up of three different things. Mm -hmm. Land, mm -hmm. water, mm -hmm. and air. Mm -hmm. That's everywhere. That's right. Water and air. That's right. Would you like to hold planet Earth? Mm -hmm. Would you like to pass it along to your brother? Mm -hmm. Nice. This is land. Can you say land with me? Land. Land. Yeah. That's right. So land is basically made up of dirt. It's where we walk. It's where cars run. It's where animals roam. This is land. Mm -hmm. And on our globe, thank you, you can see that the land are all the ones with the beautiful different colors on them. Oh, I can see that. Now this is water. Mm -hmm. Water. 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 Now our earth is made up of mostly water. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot more water than land where boats can go. Mm -hmm. Where you can go swimming. Where you can go swimming. Go swimming. Where you can see fish. Where you can see a lot of our sea life. Yeah. That is water. That and is on our water. globe, you can see the water because all of the water is everything that is in the shade of blue. Uh-huh. No. And the last thing is air. You can't see it, but you, you can, can see feel it, it. But you can uh -huh. feel it and you know it's there. Uh-huh. It's everywhere. So it's everywhere. Just like when you're outside, you can feel it. Can you see the air? Uh-uh. Not unless it's really cold, right? But it's there. Uh -huh, you can feel it. So these are the three things that Earth is made up. Land, Land water, water, and air. air. This is the first activity. This is land. Mm -hmm. This is water. Okay, yeah, yeah. Air. And this is air. Okay. So I've got different sets of cards which I will mix up. You're going to place them where you feel they should go.
For this next activity, you'll need different pictures of all of the different continents in the Montessori colors, which you can then laminate in order to place the different colored Play-Doh on top of each of them as a type of mat. So my daughter decided to do South America, so she'll need the pink, and for Asia, we'll need the yellow Play-Doh color. My children love being able to work with the Play-Doh. It's very good for their fine motor skills and their hand and eye coordination as they have to make sure to fit all of the Play-Doh within the color boundaries. This is a wonderful way for them to learn their continents. This next activity is a simple puzzle activity. We are using the Montessori continent puzzle along with the Montessori continent control map. You can see that my son and my daughter are placing all of the different continents on the control map, which is labeled with all of the different continents. This is perfect to develop their fine motor skills and their hand and eye coordination, and also a wonderful concrete way for them to memorize all of the different continents and their placement. For this next activity, it's not required for you to have the continent puzzle map. You can simply print out the different continent puzzle pieces or you can create some of them out of felt. Now the purpose of this activity is just for your children to be able to know the placement of all of the different continents on this map. This activity leads me to this very next art activity. You're going to need the different paint colors for some of the continents. You're going to need a paper plate and the cutouts of the different continents. If you have younger children, I recommend that you print out a black and white copy of one of the continents and then have them color it in with the corresponding color. That way it's easier for them to match the color of this picture with the color on the map. Here you can see that my son is utilizing the individual puzzle pieces as a stencil. Once he is done tracing each of the individual continents in their proper place, he can go in and finish painting them in the appropriate colors. You can see that being able to know where the puzzle pieces were supposed to go and their proper placement really help with this art activity. These are official Montessori continent cards. You could see that my son is taking all of the different labels and labeling each of the different continents that are highlighted in the red. Totally nailed it. 
This next activity was more of a field trip. So if you happen to have the time and the means, I definitely suggest taking the time to go to your local zoo and take a look at all of the different wonderful animals from so many different parts of the world. Once you get home, you can go ahead and have your child identify some of the animals that you saw at the zoo and see if you can have them place their origin on the continental map. If you happen to be in Southern California, I highly suggest that you go to the Living Desert in Palm Springs. They've just opened up a wonderful Australian exhibit dedicated to so many of the animals from Australia. It was one of our favorite places to visit. The desert bighorn sheep happen to be some of my husband's favorites. Don't ask me why, but they are native to North America. The leopard exhibit was one of our favorites to visit as well. And as you'll see in just a second, this leopard was highly on the move and I'm sure that he's able to see quite a few people on the other side of that glass. The giraffes exhibit at the Living Desert is one of my personal favorites. And I know if you get there at a specific time, you are actually able to feed some of the giraffes. Giraffes are native to Africa. The zebras were some of my daughter's favorites to see, and these beautiful animals are native to Africa as well. So this is the Big Bear's Alpine Zoo. So here you'll find a lot of different types of wildlife that you will not see at the living desert, such as the grizzly bear, which is native to Asia. This was one of my favorites of the day the black bear, which is native to North America. You could see that he was just highly enjoying his nap in the sunshine. My husband and my son were super excited to be able to see a bald eagle. Bald eagles are native to North America. And that will do it for this video. I hope that this video was incredibly helpful to you, especially in figuring out the types of activities that you can present for early geography lessons and for your children to be able to learn and discover the continents. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe and remember that I do post videos every single week. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you back here very, very soon.